the bell icon to turn on notifications. Another important aspect of Microsoft Teams is the ability to be able to record your meetings. And this is particularly useful if you want to review a meeting and it's also useful to send out to participants who maybe weren't able to join the meeting at the time. And I would say when it does come to recording your team's meetings, it's always good to let the participants know that you're going to start recording. There are some situations where possibly recording isn't the most appropriate thing to do, maybe if it's some kind of HR meeting. So just make sure that everybody who's on the call is in agreement and are happy for the meeting to be recorded. And when it comes to recording, this is a very simple process. We can jump up to our menu bar running across the top and we need to click the three dots where it says more actions. And towards the bottom of this menu, you'll see that I have a button here that says start recording. So if I click this, you'll notice that I have a red recorder indicated in the top left hand corner. And I've also got this purple bar running across the top that lets me know that I am recording. And of course, it basically just says there what I just mentioned to you. Be sure to let everyone know that they're being recorded. Now, I'm going to dismiss this message because I don't need that lurking around. But now everything that I'm saying, everything that I'm sharing, everything I type into the chat panel and all the input from the participants is being recorded in a file. Now, once the meeting is finished or you want to just stop recording, it's the same process. So we jump back up to more actions and you'll see that now I have a stop recording button. So if I click stop recording and just confirm that that is exactly what I want to do, you can see now this warning message says the recording is being saved and I can find a link to the recording in the meeting chat history. It's also worth noting that you'll see when we go back to the channel that we started this meeting in, there'll be a copy of the recording in there as well. So this is a really nice, simple way for people to be able to access a recording of the meeting. So what I'm going to do now is let's just end this meeting and jump back to Teams. And if we go to the channel that this meeting was started in, take a look at what we have in here. So here we have the meeting recording and we also have an attendance report which we can download. I'll also find the meeting recording underneath the files tab in the channel. You can see that I now have a new folder that's been automatically created for me and in here I'm going to find all of the meeting recordings that was started from this particular channel. So it's a great way of keeping all of your recordings together. And of course, with these meetings, if you click the three dots again, you have a menu full of different options. So you can download this recording, you can delete it, you can pin it to the top. So if it's something that you want to access frequently, that can be helpful. And you can also rename, which I find really useful because you'll see that the meeting recordings will have a rather generic title. So not that easy to identify when you have quite a few of them in the list. So you might want to rename that to something a little bit more meaningful. And you'll also find a copy of the recording underneath files. If we go to Microsoft Teams, you can see right at the top there again, that is the recording of the meeting that we've just hosted. Now, something else that's worth mentioning is that depending on the length of the meeting that you recorded, it can sometimes take a few minutes for that to come into the team channel. Of course, my meeting was only a couple of minutes long, so it's reasonably quick. But if you've got a meeting that's maybe one or two hours long, then you might have to wait a few minutes for that to actually generate and come through. And a couple of other things you can do in here. If we hover over the meeting and click on those three dots, we have another little menu with some options. So if I wanted to send someone a direct link to this recording, I can choose to get the link. It's going to give me the link just here. I can then copy that and maybe paste that into an email or into another channel. So very simple and straightforward to record Teams meetings. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.